guys so if you're new to my channel I am Kia J I record fashion videos hair videos hauls business videos entrepreneurship videos things like that so if you are a returning subscriber hey um, you may have also noticed that I recently changed my username so I'll leave the information on why I changed my username below so let's just get right into the video because I know there's a reason why you guys clicked on the video because you wanted to know about my bag. This is the E St. Laurent large envelope bag. I'm absolutely, oh my god, I, this has to be my favorite purse that I own and I'm going to tell you guys what I love so much about this purse. I know this is like a weird obsession but I really love the sound that the chains make so i'm like super obsessed with the sound of the chains that the chains weight make and um this bag does have a little bit of weight to it so i'm just gonna tell you my purchase story um before i even get onto the bags before i tell you guys my likes and dislikes about the bag i'm gonna tell you my purchase story because it does have something to do about my dislikes so I found this bag on another YouTuber's channel. She's my favorite YouTuber at the moment. Her um, channel is Style by Casanova. I'll leave the link below, but she does have a beautiful um, luxury handbag collection. And um, actually, she showcased this bag on her um, when she went to her mom's house and did her mom's house tour. And I'm like, oh my God, I love that bag. I have to have that bag. Um, so I did some research and I figured out what bag she actually had and I looked at uh, East St. Laurent when I purchased my Gucci disco bag. I wanted a smaller crossbody um, but the crossbodies to me at that time wasn't practical. This can be either a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag but most times I do wear it as a shoulder bag. So anyway, so I went to Saks. To go take a look after I watched that video, I think I went about a couple of weeks later and I wanted to actually see the bag in person. So when I seen the bag in person, um, I, they, they had this bag at the store. Now for some reason, I wanted this bag with the gold hardware, but they didn't have it in the store. Most of, mostly all of my bags have gold hardware, so this is my first bag with the silver hardware. So I've seen this in the store, loved it, but I felt like I could love the gold hardware even more. So I sat, I thought about it, then I went back another couple of weeks later. Um, I just so happened to have been at the store with a friend, and I just went ahead and purchased it. Um, but I purchased this bag in the gold. So they still didn't have the gold at the store. So I actually had to get the gold shipped to my house. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about this bag. So first of all, I get the bag. It gets shipped to my house. The bag comes from like a return center in New Jersey. That's what the, ret the label said. The return part of the label said. So I wasn't even expecting it to be my bag. It came in a... A brown box they left it on my doorstep um, that was the first thing that I didn't like I, I live in a pretty safe neighborhood but I just feel like when you're purchasing a bag it should be signed on delivery it shouldn't be left on at the front door so I get it I opened the box y'all when I tell you the bag looked just like this out the box like first of all they didn't wrap the bag up they didn't put the bag inside of the dust bag the dust bag was inside the bag like it literally looked like they just threw the bag inside of the box so that was the first thing I didn't like so the second thing I did not like was when I actually tried looked at the bag in the gold I hated the gold hardware um, to me the gold hardware looked kind of cheap it looked like that gold that was so gold in color that it tarnishes to that black color. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But I looked at it. I played with it in the mirror. And I was like, nah, I'm not really feeling this bag. I don't know if I want to keep this bag. Um, because I just didn't love it the way I loved this bag when I tried it on at the store. So the next day, I went back to Saks. I'm pretty sure they thought I was playing games. I went back to Saks and... Um, I actually did not see my salesperson, so I was happy about that because I didn't want him to know that I returned the bag. So 
um i ended up returning the bag and i did not get this bag immediately i told myself i would wait a couple of weeks again and i would see if i love the bag and if i still felt the same way like every day i was thinking about it i would go back to the store and repurchase it so that's what i did i went back a couple of weeks later and i absolutely love the bag um the bag is absolutely beautiful um the quality is great i personally feel like um this bag would hold its value more than some of the other bags that I have, especially the Gucci bags that I have. Um, one of the reasons being so is that the black bag has black interior. Um, so I really do appreciate that the inside of the bag is the same as leather on the inside of the and the outside because sometimes when you have um, when you have that material on the inside, what happens is it's harder to keep clean. So, being that this bag is black on the inside, I definitely think that this is an easy bag to maintain. So, I've had this bag for, I want to say I had this bag for about seven weeks now. And I've worn this bag three or four times. So, I don't wear this bag a lot. I only wear this bag, like, if I'm going out um, somewhere like a special occasion or something this is this would never be my everyday bag this would be a bag when my hair my makeup and everything is done so um let's see one of the things that i have noticed with my other designer bags that i'm not going to continue to do with any bag that i have is i'm not going to put too much into into a bag so whenever i'm carrying this bag i only carry about I only put about four items in my bag tops. So I usually only keep my wallet inside the bag, um, some lotion, hand sanitizer, and my lipstick. That's it. And it fits, I mean, I have no issues fitting all of that and have a little bit of extra room. The thing about this bag is that it does have this magnetic clasp. And so, you have to just take your time to get it shut. So, on the back, it does have an extra pocket. And so, the pocket, I always just keep my purse because that, that class can sometimes um, be a little bit difficult to open and close, especially when you're wearing it as a shoulder bag. So, I usually just put my phone in the back of the bag. So, I will tell you guys some of the things that I absolutely love about this bag and some of my dislikes about this bag. So, like I stated before, I'm just absolutely in love with how I'm able to um, transition this bag from a shoulder bag to a crossbody bag. And I'm 5 feet, um, so it, it fits pretty nice. I'll show another pro about this bag. As I stated before, is that it has a black interior. So if I ever plan to sell the bag or anything like that, which I don't plan to do, but if I do it, I really do believe that um, it'll be easier for me to, to sell this bag at, at if not the price that I bought it for or higher because this bag just does not um, get dirty on the inside. Um, Like I stated before, my other thing is the sound that I make, it makes. I don't know why every time I watched a video review of this bag, I was like, oh my god, I love the way that sounds. And I just love it. I love the way the chain sounds. I love the silver. Um, and that's a reason, another reason why I purchased it again um, when I went back is because I really did love the silver. I really did feel like the silver, I was able to wear silver with everything. And that gold, I did not feel like I could just go ahead and wear it with everything. So I really do love the silver hardware i've even seen this in the matte black color which is also a very nice bag too i didn't try the matte black because i knew i didn't want a matte black and honestly i just like the way the ysl looks um when it reflects as opposed to the matte black um so my dislikes about this bag i don't really have many dislikes about this bag 
I don't really have any dislikes about this bag, honestly. Um, the only thing that I disliked about the bag was the gold hardware. It was just too, to me, it just seemed like it was just too flashy. But other than that, I absolutely love this bag. I will leave the link below to where I purchased it from. I did purchase it from Sack. So, if you guys want me to do any other um, hauls or anything like that, let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.